everybody this is Jenny from by Jenny designs and today I'm going to show you how to work up my men's folded brim beanie this is a great basic beanie made with bulky yarn and this will fit a head circumference of 22 to 23 inches for this pattern you're going to need burnett softy chunky yarn about 150 yards a pair of scissors size 10 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and a measuring tape if you want to take measurements to make sure you're staying on gauge. All right, I will get all this out of the way and then we will get started. For this pattern, we're going to be using a magic circle. To make your magic circle, place your yarn in your hand, place your thumb on top of the yarn with the working side of your yarn to the left, Wrap the tail end around your thumb and place it just behind the working yarn like so. Insert your hook, yarn over and grab your working yarn, pull through and chain one. And now for row one of this pattern, you're going to be working 10 double crochet into the circle. So one, And go ahead and double check two four six eight ten now pull your circle tight and now you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet of the row for row two you're going to chain one and now you're going to work two half double crochet into each stitch around. Continue to work all the way around and I will meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I am just working up my last two half double crochet. You should have 20 half double crochet and now you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Chain one and now for row three you're going to be working two double crochet in the first stitch. one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet in the next, and one in the next. Continue this pattern of working two and then one all the way around and I will meet you at the end of the row. Okay, I am just working up my last double crochet. You should be ending your row with one double crochet in the last stitch. And the stitch count for this row should be 30. Join with a slip stitch and chain one. And then before we move on, we're gonna just measure across the center and see if we're getting gauge. Make sure your circle is pulled tight. And now the measurement across the circle should be about 11 centimeters. And there we go, we have 11 centimeters. So we'll move on. 
If you got much larger than that, you're going to want to switch your hook to the next size down, a nine millimeter hook. Okay, so for row four, we have chained one. Now we're gonna work two half double crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet in two. Two half double crochet in the next stitch. And then half double crochet in two. Continue to work this way all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the row. So again, that's two half double crochet and then half double crochet in two. Okay, here I am at the end of row four. Your stitch count for this row should be 40. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch and chain one. For row five, you're going to work two double crochet in the first stitch. And then you're going to double crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're going to work just like this all the way around. So that again is two double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next nine. Go ahead and work your way around. I'm just finishing row five now. Join with a slip stitch. And your stitch count for this row should be 44. Chain one, and then we're just gonna measure one more time across the center. This time you should get roughly 17 centimeters. There we go, perfect. And now this was also your last row of increases, so from here on out is easy peasy. Okay, row six, you are going to half double crochet into each stitch around. Go ahead and work your way around. Okay, there's my last stitch of row six. Join, chain one, and now for row seven, you're going to work double crochet into each stitch around. And now for the rest of the pattern, into the last row that is, you're going to be repeating this. You're going to work one row of half double crochet, one row of double crochet one row of half double crochet, one row of double crochet. You're going to continue alternating that until you complete 18 rows total. When you've completed 18 rows, come back here and I will show you how to work the last row. Okay, I'm just working up my last stitch of row 18. After you've finished your last stitch, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and now for the final row, we're going to turn the hat and we're going to single crochet into each stitch around. Go 
ahead and work your way all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, I am almost finished here. I just wanted to show you, you should be working your last stitch into this space here where your chain one is. It's sometimes hard to tell where your stitch should be worked when you've turned it like this. But if you were on this side, you can see you would have worked your stitch here. So go ahead and work your last single crochet. And then join with a slip stitch. And now you can fasten off. After you've fastened off, you can go ahead and sew in both of your ends. Now, before you sew this one in, just give it a little tug, make sure it's tight. And then go in the other direction. Now you can turn your hat right side out. And fold up the bottom. And there you have it. Nice basic men's beanie or women's. Thanks so much for watching and crocheting with me today, and I will see you soon.